Hello and welcome to University of Kentucky's Technology Training Quick Tips. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about email voting options in Microsoft Outlook 2010. Microsoft has a voting feature so that you can ask a question in an email and allow your recipients to quickly vote on a response. Let's look at an example. Here I have a blank message. I'm going to go ahead and address this to a few of my colleagues. And I want to know whether they want to eat lunch today. You see that I'm asking them a question in the subject line here. And instead of requiring them to hit reply with a response, I can go to the options tab on the ribbon look in the tracking group for this option using voting buttons. When I click on using voting buttons I can then choose a preset option of approve reject, yes no, yes no maybe. I'm going to click on yes no and a little info bar shows up and tells me that I've added voting buttons to this message. So when I send the message out now to my colleagues when they receive this email, they'll be prompted to vote yes or no, and that response will come back to me, and I'll be able to easily see who is in for lunch today. In our last example, we looked at how you could add simple yes-no voting options to an email in Outlook. I'd like to take that a step further to show you how you can customize that with your very own voting options. In this example, I'm going to address my email message to my colleagues again because I heard back from all of them and they are definitely up for some lunch. I need to find out from them where we should go. A lot of people like to proceed a voting email by giving the direction to please vote. That just gives the recipients a heads up that this is going to be a message they're going to need to vote in. I'll ask, where should we go? I'm then going to travel to the Options tab and click on the Use Voting button. I'll hit Custom, since none of the other preset options will be appropriate here. That'll take me into the Properties window, and I'll notice that the checkbox next to Using Voting Buttons is already checked with options for Approve and Reject. I'm going to replace that here with some of my own options. Maybe we might go to Arby's or Pazos, maybe even the Bangkok House. Notice that in between each of these options I'm placing a semicolon. That lets Outlook know that those are the three different choices I'd like to include in this message. I'm going to click Close. An info bar pops up again to let me know that I've added voting options to this message. And when I send this out, my colleagues will be able to respond with either Arby's, Pazos, or Bangkok House. Here I have an example of a message I sent out with voting options. This was sent out to participants in one of my classes and I needed to know whether they were using Access 2007 or 2010. Notice the subject line is asking that question and as I got responses back from these individuals, I can keep track of them in the tracking area up here on the message ribbon. I'm going to click on that tracking button and you'll see that it takes me into a list of everyone this was sent to. You can see that I can tell what responses they gave me and can easily plan for my class now that I know only one person is currently using Access 2010. Thank you for visiting Technology Training. For more information, please visit our website.